Now, I'm not a socialist, but I do believe that there is a place for unions, especially if you've got big corporations walking all over their people. And in this particular case, I, I agree with what the staff at Amazon want to do. And they want to go on strike. Uh, it seems that everybody else is going on strike at the moment now, asking for more wages, and they probably thought, why not us? Because at the end of the day, they don't get paid that much, and they do get worked hard. And it says, Amazon workers in Coventry vote for strike action. Now, if you think about who owns Amazon and how much he did make, although they've made a considerable loss in the last year. Let me have a quick look at this. Um, Amazon's uh, net income loss for the 12 months ending September the 30th, 2022, was... 20.64 billion a 67.92 percent decline over the year my heart bleeds but there's people like him that really love immigration what they do is they say they're giving people the opportunity to have a better life no you're not what you're doing is you're getting these people to come into the country and work for less wages than the people of that country would work for you're exploiting them I'll tell you what I've got a great idea. Why don't you pay a decent wage to whoever works there? Because at the end of the day, you could afford it, all right? But no, what you do is you get people in who don't have a great deal of uh, understanding. Their English is not very good. And you get them managed by people of their own culture. All right, I know this because this is what happens. And you take the, the mickey out of them, basically. And people say that uh, a lot of uh, British people are lazy and they won't work. But they also these British people know what they're worth. So yes, you flood the market with a load of cheap labour, you rinse it out until the point they eventually look round within that country, as they are now, and work out that they're having the Michael taken out of them. And they get together, and they join a union, and then they decide they're going to literally knock you for six. Now it says here, Amazon workers at the company's warehouse in Coventry have voted to take strike action in what's believed to be a UK first. The GMB union said hundreds of workers voted to walk out over a 50 pence Per hour pay offer. Yes, it's not exactly very much. The majority of uh, more than 98% of the workers that voted for strike action in a ballot turnout of more than 63% of the union said Amazon has previously said or previously said that it offered competitive pay. Yes, competitive pay against the other globalists that aren't paying very much. Yeah, so you know, there's a bit of a salad there um, and gave workers comprehensive benefits. Uh, the ballot uh, shut on Friday, but any industrial action is likely to take place in the new year, or well, at least they're thinking of the customers. Workers had wanted their hourly pay to rise from £10 an hour to £15 an hour. Okay, that's a bit strong, but whatever. Uh, Amanda Gearing of the GMB senior organiser said that the workers were making history by being the first uh, Amazon workers in the UK to take part of a formal strike. Um, the fact that they are being forced to go on strike to win a decent rate of pay from one of the world's most valuable companies should be a badge of shame for Amazon, she said. I agree. Uh, Amazon can afford to do better. It's not too late to avoid strike action. Get round the table with the GMB and improve your pay and conditions for workers. It's not unreasonable, is it? And here's the thing. If you actually paid a decent wage, you'd get the indigenous people of this country come out and you wouldn't have to push so hard for immigration to fill the gap and for people to rinse out, which is really what you like to do. I mean, this was part of the case of getting the Eastern Europeans in here because they'd come from, uh, some of them from countries that had experienced communism in the past and still was no way over that. Um, you know, the fall of the Berlin Wall was 89 and a lot of these countries begin to go on their own way, but they've been poor countries. Now, you think about how much money, say, for instance, the Romanians earn a month for average wages, about 250 euros a month. Well, you think they can work for rubbish money over here and it still be big wages for them. And then they send a load home. But it's wrong. The wages should reflect the, the, the living costs of the country and the living costs have gone through the roof. So £10 an hour isn't a great deal, especially when you're being worked like a dog. And if the conditions, like the toilets and the canteen and stuff, isn't up to spec, now I'm not saying that is the case in this particular place, but I have been to a few that are less than nice, then you need to sort yourselves out. Um, but it, it does seem that most of the places that I deliver to, which is predominantly around the food industry, most of them are either uh, Romanian, Polish, or they're people who look like they're from uh, an Indian background somewhere, I don't know where, um, and 
Yeah. They're not the happiest looking people in the world. And they are worked really hard. And there's a massive turnover, actually. I mean, take, for instance, um, there was a company, a big uh, food company. Uh, I can't mention the name for legal reasons. Now, in the morning, on a Monday morning, I'd go in and I'd see a massive group of newbies who were going to work as order pickers. And every Monday, I'd see a new faces, big group of people. So I got to say, I said, well, what happens? He said, well, they work them to death and they leave. There's a high turnover of staff here because they treat them like rubbish. So even the Eastern Europeans who know how to graph their backside off will not put up with being treated like rubbish forever. And this is why they got the Polish in, and after the Polish, they got the Romanians in, and they started running out of pay people to get in. But this is why they love these people coming over, the claiming, claiming asylum and ended up hopefully getting it and then working over here because they can work them really hard for no money at all. So the likes of Bezos and other people like that who got incredibly rich over this stuff, actually, even though he took a massive downturn in, in his finances, are still immoral these are people that claim that they want to give these people a fresh start but actually really what they want to do is they want to work them for a lot less money than the people of that country would work for not very nice so i hope this works and i hope they get a pay rise uh it's not as if they haven't got enough trade going through the place to support it um and this is a thing if the wages went up for everything uh i get the fact it's going to cost us more i get this what i don't want it to be is so enticing for them to get in cheap labour that they'll get everything coming over the channel and its dinghies and whatever else. You've got to make sure that they're not going to profit from immigration. They will not rinse out these people because the unions will stop that. And then when the unions stop that, it won't be so interesting for them and it won't be so great. Uh, but that's just my thought. Let me know what you think about it. Um, a lot of you may say I'm completely wrong on this, but that's your opinion and your choice. So, uh, yeah, get stuck into the comments. Don't forget... In the description is the uh, the links to the other platforms I'm on. I also put out videos on Simon Evans' channel. Uh, that's a new channel I've started. Um, I've got uh, other channels that we're holding back on at the moment. Um, but yeah, um, I'm on just about most platforms, so have a look in the description. Anyway, lots more to do today, so I'll, uh, I'll see you in a bit.